May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense, and may your presence surround and fill us, so that in union with all creation we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. The light shines in the darkness. And the darkness shall not overcome it. The Christian poet I have for you tonight is a poet, this is March 10th, is a poet who lived in Germany from 1260 B.C. to 1328 B.C. His name is Meister Eckhart. He was a German scholar, a Dominican monk, and he's considered one of the greatest Christian mystics uh, in Christian history. A Christian mystic is someone who spends a lot of time in different spiritual practices, especially contemplative prayer, with the goal of eventually experiencing some sort of union with God. Meister Eckhart was also a scholar. He uh, held a Master of Sacred Theology from the University of Paris, I believe. He was a teacher and a lecturer at different colleges and universities around Europe. Eventually, his writings were actually condemned by the church because of, of his insistence that all people just like him could indeed, through prayer, draw quite close to God. And at the time, the, the church... With the church wanted wanted a uh, intermediary, the church itself to be to be that thing that brought you that connection with God. But Meister Eckhart said that uh, he was a, a um, really a progenitor of Martin Luther. Said that one could one could have a personal relationship with God as well. Anyway, the poem that I'm going to read for you tonight is called "To See as God Sees." Again, this is by Meister Eckhart. It is your destiny to see as God sees, to know as God knows, and to feel as God feels. How is this possible? How? Because divine love cannot defy its very self. Divine love will be eternally true to its own being, and its being is giving all it can at the perfect moment. And the greatest gift God can give is his own experience. Every object, every creature, every man, woman, and child has a soul, and it is the destiny of all to see as God sees, to know as God knows, to feel as God feels, and to be as God is. God bless you all and have a wonderful evening.
great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.